The Alaskan Malamute is a large, strong, heavy-duty working dog that's best suited for cold climates. Malamutes are intelligent and thrive in a pack setting. The breed was developed for strength and endurance to pull heavy freight over long distances through heavy snow as sled dogs. Today, they are mostly used as companion dogs, but they require lots of exercise. Owning an Alaskan Malamute has its advantages and challenges. In this video, we'll dive into the pros and cons of owning an Alaskan Malamute to help you decide if this majestic breed is right for you. If you're new to our channel, welcome. We make videos that are educational and entertaining about all things dogs. By the end of this video, you'll have a good understanding of what it takes to own an Alaskan Malamute. Pros of owning an Alaskan Malamute Intelligence Alaskan Malamutes are known for their intelligence. These sled dogs were ranked at number 50 in the famous Intelligence of Dogs book. They thrive with a task to complete, putting their IQ to use. This breed usually has inner confidence when making decisions and likes to be independent thinkers. To get the best out of your Alaskan Malamute pup, you'll want to take them to puppy manners and obedience classes. Loyalty Alaskan Malamutes have a pack mentality, which in turn creates deep loyalty to their family members. Let's not forget the Alaskan Malamute was bred by the Malamute Anupia tribe to play an important role in their day-to-day -day lives. This forged an incredible bond between dog and human. Generally speaking, this northern breed will develop a strong bond with family members. This adoration means Malamutes will do their utmost to protect the unit. Despite their loyalty, they are still friendly with new people and new dogs. Protection Although Alaskan Malamutes are a friendly breed, they can also act as adept protecting dogs. These northern dogs are large, with males weighing up to 85 pounds and females up to 75 pounds, and they usually grow to a height between 23 and 25 inches. Their size alone can be enough to warn off any unwanted intruders. Their loyalty to the family means they'll do what it takes to protect those in their pack. Pack Mentality These sled dogs have a pack mentality. While owning one Alaskan Malamute is perfectly acceptable, you may find that having two Malamutes together will make life more exciting for both your dogs and you. The breed was bred to work together to haul heavy loads over long distances as part of a pack, so they are used to being around other Malamutes and large dogs. If you look at some big Malamute accounts on Instagram, you'll notice they usually come in pairs or more. A second dog will usually make life a little easier. The American Kennel Club does warn that in your family pack, the leader must be you. Playfulness. These striking dogs have a playful side that will put a smile on the faces of their owners and everyone they meet. Alaskan Malamutes are often described as cheerful dogs. They can be great playmates, and for this reason, they do well in homes with older children. Due to their sheer size, they may not be a good fit for families with young children or elderly people, but this can be a personal preference after some careful consideration. A well-behaved Malamute is a joy to be with, playful, gentle, friendly, and great with kids. Cons of owning an Alaskan Malamute Hard to train While Alaskan Malamutes are smart dogs, they're not necessarily easy to train. The breed has a reputation for being independent thinkers with a stubborn streak. You'll want to start training your Malamute from early puppyhood to establish basic obedience and some ground rules. If a Malamute doesn't respect you, they will wind up owning you instead of the other way around. Firm but loving training should begin early. Ability to overpower Due to their sheer size, Alaskan Malamutes can easily overpower their owners. This is something to consider, especially if you're a lightweight individual attempting to handle one or more of these sled dogs. Given they can weigh up to 80 pounds, although some can be even heavier, you'll want to ensure you've got their attention and respect. It all comes back to training. Require a lot of exercises. You won't be surprised to learn that Alaskan Malamutes require a substantial amount of exercise. These northern dogs have a lot of energy, which makes sense given they were bred to pull loads on sleds. You'll want to ensure your Alaskan Malamute gets around 90 minutes of exercise a day. Some activities they will enjoy include hiking, running, and swimming. Regular exercise can help dissuade your Malamute from naughty behavior inside the home. Health Issues The Alaskan Malamute breed is predisposed to hip dysplasia, 
an inherited disease that can lead to arthritis later in life. Dwarfism is another issue, associated with abnormal growth of cartilage, resulting in shorter legs than normal. Responsible breeders do not recommend using affected Alaskan Malamutes for breeding. Healthy Malamutes and those with arthritis enjoy sleeping on comfortable beds, a dog bed with a washable cover is easier to keep clean. Bloat can also be an issue. Do not overfeed your dog, and if you notice any signs of bloat, take the dog to the veterinarian immediately. Slow feeder dog bowls can help minimize the amount of air a hungry Malamute may gulp along with their food. Expensive to insure. Alaskan Malamutes are large dogs that can leave a large dent in your wallet. These northern dogs aren't cheap to insure, which is something pet owners need to consider before bringing one home. The insurance cost will increase as these big dogs get older. Expensive to feed. They're not cheap to insure, and they're not cheap to feed either. You'll want to make sure you're giving your Alaskan Malamutes a diet that provides all the nutrients they need to be happy and healthy. The American Kennel Club adds that they should do well on high-quality dog food, whether commercially manufactured or home prepared with your veterinarian supervision and approval. If you provide them with freshly cooked meals from a dog food delivery company, you could pay around $95 a month, which equates to nearly $1,200 a year on dog food. That's all for today. Hope you found this video informative. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload new videos. Thanks for watching.